With just two weeks to go before voting gets underway in Iowa, tensions flared in Sunday's Democratic presidential debate, effectively halting the tone of civility that has so far defined their contest. The clashes started early over the issue of guns. He voted against the Brady bill five times. He voted to let guns go onto Amtrak, guns go into national parks. Well, I think Secretary Clinton knows that what she says is very disingenuous. I have a D minus voting record from the NRA. On Saturday, after days of criticism from Clinton, Sanders announced he changed his position on granting gun manufacturers immunity from prosecution. So what I said is I would relook at it, we are going to relook at it, and I will support stronger provisions. Clinton also hammered Sanders over the issue of health care, criticizing him for releasing, just before the debate, his own government run single payer plan that she said would tear up the Affordable Care Act. The fact is, we have the Affordable Care Act. That is one of the greatest accomplishments of President Obama, of the Democratic Party, and of our country to tear it up and start over again, pushing our country back into that kind of a contentious debate, I think is the wrong direction. I have to talk about something that's actually working in, in our state. Governor, no one is tearing this up. We're going to go forward. Sanders and former Maryland Governor Martin O'Malley both took on Clinton for being too close to Wall Street. You've received over $600,000 in speaking fees from Goldman Sachs in one year. The truth of the matter is, Secretary Clinton, you did not go as far as reigning in Wall Street as I would. And the fact of the matter is the people of America deserve to have a president that's on their side protecting the Main Street economy. A criticism Clinton refused to accept. The hedge fund billionaires who are running ads against me right now and Karl Rove, who started running an ad against me right now, funded by money from the financial services sector, sure think I'm the one they don't want Gover to be up Governor against. Yeah. The candidates did find agreement on a handful of issues, from disparities in the criminal justice system, to opposition over sending ground troops to Syria, to their thoughts about whether Bill Clinton's past behavior should play a role in the 2016 campaign. That question annoys me. Yes, his behavior was deplorable. Have I ever once said a word about that issue? No, I have not. I'm going to debate Secretary Clinton, Governor Malley, on the issues facing the American people, not Bill Clinton's personal behavior. The heated debate came as polls show Sanders gaining traction in the crucial early voting states. Though Clinton still leads nationwide by a significant margin, losses in Iowa and New Hampshire would deal a serious blow to a campaign once considered inevitable. Kelly Daschle, Associated Press.